All around the United States during the last 10 days of January, the point in time count takes place to determine the homeless population throughout our communities. Crowen County has seen a 45% increase in unhoused adults and children since 2022 and a 63% increase since 2019. Reporter Sammy Holliday has more. The point in time count is done at the end of January because it ensures consistency across the U.S. It also allows people who can only pay for temporary housing at the beginning of the month to be included in the count. Getting an accurate number of the homeless and unhoused population is of the utmost importance. We want to get those, as many numbers as we can because the impact to funding and agencies that look at um, what the barriers to housing and such are is important to see those numbers in our community. The challenge with obtaining an accurate number is that the homeless and unhoused population is not necessarily visible here in Crow Wing County. Those people are harder to reach. That's why we're reaching out with publicity campaign to try to attract those people to come in and show up and do the survey so that their number counts. Um, because it is hard to reach homeless people. They, you know, aren't necessarily in our community. They're not necessarily out on the street. For the PIT count, two types of homelessness are counted, sheltered and unsheltered. Sheltered includes those in emergency shelters and transitional housing. Unsheltered includes those living in tents, a car, truck, or camper without utilities, abandoned buildings, ice houses, or those living on the streets. In Minnesota, double up or couch hopping also is counted, which is defined as those who are temporarily staying with family or friends. Last year we had 173 unhoused individuals that were documented in Crown County. We suspect that that number is greater than that, though we really don't know what the accurate number is and we really would like to know that. Homelessness is becoming a bigger problem across the United States. There are many dangers that the homeless face and in Minnesota it is not hard to think of one of the most dangerous threats. People camp outside all winter long here in Minnesota. Um, there, you know, there's horror stories of people having injuries from, from doing that. Um, um, we are trying really hard to get people into safe housing and so that they're warm and safe. Um, but that is challenging because there is a lack of limited housing available. Reporting in Brainerd, Sammy Holiday, Lakeland News. Those experiencing homelessness in Crow Wing County are encouraged to participate in the survey. The survey will be taking place until January 31st. For more information, you can contact the Crow Wing County Housing and Homelessness Specialist at the number on the screen. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.